everybody, it's Claudia with Claudia Rossi Studios. This is not working. <laughs> not working. It doesn't like me. I don't know. Um, how's everybody? I'm in a great mood today. Um, as you can tell, but <laughs> you want to know why? <laughs> because, because I have coffee in the afternoon in my, it's backwards, my Jack Skellington cup. I have to be careful because it's full. So I just made it, but I have afternoon coffee. <sighs> I love afternoon coffee. It's kind of a treat because um, I try not to drink <laughs> too much coffee, too much caffeine in general. I love coffee and I love tea, so um, I make it every day, but I try not to drink <laughs> too much of it. So I have my ooh, big cup of coffee in the morning or my espresso cups, yeah, and sometimes I have them in the afternoon too because I'm tired and I want to, and this is so not working, but... Um, there's a reason why I'm wearing it. It feels nice on my neck. Okay, look, I got my hair cut today. See? Okay, wait. Let's do this. Okay. See my hair cut? Yay. Cut. Yes. It needed cut because it was like all out of control, crazy bad, bad, bad before. <laughs> and so I wear pigtails all the time because, like, what else was I going to do? I need to color it. Do you see my hair in the front? It grows in white. White. Okay, I'm not that old. I'm not old enough for white hair. White? Like, seriously. Now, problem, Matt, problem is, on this side, it's brown. Like, why? Why is this side white and this side's brown? If it would all grow in white in the front, how fun would that be? Like, that would be cool. I would let it grow white, and then I'd do pink, and then who knows what I would do. This is dull, because my hair's dirty, because I... I have this logic that I need to go to the hairdresser and get my hair cut when it's dirty because they don't shampoo it. Um, if they did, that would be another reason to go while it's dirty because it's a free shampoo. Like, why? Why should I bother, right? Let them rub my head for a while. So I love getting my hair washed at the salon and getting it all rubbed. I love it. Do you love it? I love it. So, but I went to Supercats for my $15 haircut because believe it or not, I have this little girl down there that I love, Jennifer. She's so good. I like her, but she made a mistake. I'll show you her mistake. I, I don't know exactly where it's at. But back here somewhere, do, do you all see, like, she, like, bumped me with the clippers, and now I have a bald spot. <laughs> How funny is that? It's horrible. But, oh, well, life goes on. But I don't know if you can see that either, but, like, all around my neck where the clipper touches me, it doesn't matter who does it. I, even if I do it myself at home, it doesn't matter. Anywhere the clipper touches me, it, it hurts. So when my hair touches it, it kind of pokes it, and then it gets irritated and it hurts. So I put my lovely boa on because it's soft and it feels good on my owie neck. That's why. So um, coffee in the afternoon, happy, happy stuff. And soon I'll fix the crazy patch, but um, I don't know. I'm lazy. I was trying to tell you why I went to the hairdresser with my hair dirty, didn't wasn't I? totally get lost. I, I'm i tired, so I'm having coffee. I'm mean, frazzle-brained. That's not true. I'm always frazzle-brained. I have no excuses. Um, because I have this weird spot in my hair, like right here on both sides, that sticks out funny, but it only does it when my hair is not clean. And um, I'm like, I, I'm not a gross person. I don't, I don't like sweat into the oldies or nothing, so like I don't sweat. I don't do anything that causes me to sweat if I can help it. Like, I don't like to sweat. I live in Fresno, California, where it gets 115 some days, so sometimes you can't help it, but I stay inside. I do, because I hate to be hot. So, um, I don't sweat, so I don't like it gross in my hair. And I use dry shampoo to keep it all fresh and clean, but I try not to wash my hair too much, because this, this fades to this really raunchy color in just a few shampoos, so, um, I try to make it last. So, uh... I don't wash my hair too terribly often, but this part that sticks out funky really sticks out funky when it's dirty, so I want to show her. But I went shopping today. Okay, I didn't go shopping because I really didn't have a lot of time. I'm going to, I'm making too much noise. Okay, okay, okay. I, I, eyes watering. Um, I can't see. I had time to kill. Gosh. I had time to kill from the time that I dropped off my daughter at her school and the time that I had to go to my hearing doctor.
to get my ears checked because um, I don't hear so good. So um, I have something called autosclerosis. It's not very bad. I have hearing aids that I can wear if I go out and like, I don't wear them at home. You know, I just make everybody repeat everything because I don't like them. But uh, if I go to public places and it's going to be noisy restaurants and stuff, I can wear them so I can hear what people are saying to me. Otherwise, I can't hear the conversation with through the background noise. But suddenly, in the last few months, I can't hear anything. I make my family repeat TV. Like, I, I control the volume. I still make them repeat what people say. Coffee. So, um, yeah. I went to go get my ears checked and get my hearing aids uh new tubey tubes put in them so maybe now I'll be able to hear they said my eardrums don't move it's really funny there's like this little chart and it goes like this and then there's another one that's bigger and they say you're supposed to be up here between these two points and I'm like down here <laughs> right above the bottom that's that's how much my eardrums move which is not good they said it could be fluid behind my ear so all the time I was sick that that could be why suddenly in the last few months I've had a change in my hearing and I have such a problem so um i am got to call my doctor and probably take antibiotics again. I don't know. So, I had time to kill. So, I went to Michael's. I should never go to Michael's. I'm bumping the table with the camera on it. Um, but, but, I, and I don't know if this is the case in everybody's store or not. But I use the Michael's app on my cell phone. And on the app are coupons that they just scan at the checkout. And today, there was a coupon for, and I'm not sure how many days it was good for, 40% off artist acrylic oil, oils, watercolors, artist acrylic paints, brushes, markers, things like that. All of it, just 40% off all the regular priced paints and stuff. So, I wish I had more money. If I had more money, I would have bought probably every color they have. They don't carry a ton of golden fluid acrylics. They really don't. They have a lot of the heavy bodies, but they don't have the golden fluids. But they had titanium white. And I go through a lot of white paint, so um, I decided I would grab one because it was like $14.99 regular, 40% off. So that's not bad. Nine, $9 for the big bottle instead of the little bottle. So that's what I got. And I bought another round brush because I love round brushes and I have a problem with paint brushes. I buy them all the time even though I don't need them. So number six round. You can't see it in the wrapper. It's it's by, I think it's, ooh, it's falling. I think it's by simply, oh, Royal and Langnickel. <laughs> How would you like to grow up with your last name being Langnickel? rough, huh? I should not be mean. I should not be mean. My name was Claudia. They called me Dirt Claude. It wasn't nice. I mean, everybody's got a problem, right? That's okay. That's okay. But I got a number six round with a fancy little rubber handle grip. These kind of help me with my carpal tunnel. Dude, I got some problems. Health-wise, perfectly healthy. Just had all my blood work done. I'm, I'm chubby. We can all see that, right? So other than that, though, like all my blood work comes back normal. But I have pain issues and joint problems and I have carpal tunnel and I can't hear. So all these things that don't really, like, you know, I'm not going to die from any of that. So, hey, that's good. But these little great things, those are helpful. I'm going to start wrapping all my brushes with duct tape pretty soon to make them fatter because my, my wrist is getting worse. My doctor's going to send me for surgery, I think. Scary. Y'all are going to get to see me paint left-handed then. How how pretty is that going to be? It's going to be scary bad. So, okay. So, around number six brush. 40% off, so I can't help myself. And one of my favorite Simply Simmons. Another. Can you see it? Number. It's not going to focus, is it? Let's try that. Number zero. Zero. Number zero. Uh, because <laughs> as much as I love my other little detail brush, I have. That's. Yeah, that's one. There's one. See how it's a little splayed at the top? Let's see, I have another one. I have another one. See how it's kind of... Can you see that? Yeah, there we go. How it's a little splayed at the top. It's because that's the way I like it for the eyelashes. But every now and again, and they dry like that. I don't know. So I'm hoping this one will stay pointy for a little bit. So I got those. And I've been wanting to doodle. Well, okay, I hate doodling. But I want to doodle a little something almost time to pick up my daughter. I have to hurry. Um, so I just got a pit pen. Just a quit looking at me. There we go. 
pen. Just a pen. And then um, Valentine's stuff was on sale 80% off, so I got these cute um, stamps. Cling stamps, yay. And these were like 60 or 80% off. Pretty butterflies. I'm going to put those on a journal page. Um, I don't know how much these were off. These were on clearance. These little seven gypsies tags. Those are super cute. And then, because I told you I wanted to, I got some mini misters, the empty ones. So I can fill them with my own sprays. So that's all I bought today. I mean, I didn't like go shopping. I just, I had to kill some time. So I did some sales. This is hot. Eek. I'm going to have to just live with my redneck. So <laughs> my redneck. Okay. Okay. Coffee. I got 10 minutes, so I have to hurry through this before I have to leave because I have to go pick my daughter up from school. Okay, so what I'm doing is I'll show you what I got because I got stuff in the mail. In the mail, I got some stuff I ordered. Nobody sent it to me or anything. So you got stuff, but I'm excited about it. So I'm going to open my mail in front of you. These were supposed to be here a while ago, but my evil mailman won't get out of his nifty little truck and deliver my mail to my door. Refuses. All he ever does is put these stupid little cards in my mailbox. He lies. Like, oh, sorry we missed you. You didn't miss me. You didn't try. You didn't even try. You didn't come knock on my door. There's seven people who live in this house. Seven. The youngest one is 13. The oldest one is 43. <laughs> but like the oldest kid is 23. Okay, there are five people between the ages of 13 and 23, plus two adults. I work from home. There's always somebody here. And he leaves me these. He refuses. I've made complaints at the post office. I just signed a paper today that says he can leave stuff at my door. They think that's going to fix the problem. It's not because I don't answer the door. <sighs> so I'll probably have to go talk to them again. But... Finally, I've been waiting for this, but I couldn't understand why I didn't get it. I didn't even know I was missing it. Because um, I ordered this on like three days shipping. <sighs> but now it's here. I can't get into it. I can't find it in all the paper. It's in there somewhere. Uh -huh. It's wrapped in plastic. Let's open it. <sighs> Don't listen. Okay. Ugh. Okay, so what do we got? We have... It's like one of the only mediums that I buy. Give me the box. Only mediums that I buy that aren't like Liquitex or Golden or some kind of other like actual artist quality. These are like more craft quality, but I love this stuff. Floating medium by Folk Art. I don't use it a lot, but I'll show you what I use it for. This, and, I, and I'm sure there's a medium that does this, a gel from them, like, you know, a gloss gel or a whatever gel that'll do it, but this works, and this big 8 ounce bottle cost me like $7 after shipping, I think it was like $4, more $4.50, wherever I ordered it from, a couple dollars shipping, so, because they didn't have it in my Michaels, I was really frustrated, they didn't have it in my Michaels, and I use this for a certain type of abstract painting that I make, bye, bye, one of my kids is telling me bye, um, loudly okay so um it just helps your color float across so your brush doesn't dry out and skip yeah so i like it uh not as thin as like glazing gel medium not as thick as some of the gels i don't know i like it floating medium um certain kind of abstract that i do and i'm going to do a class a workshop like my face workshop for the girl back there that a lot of you have taken. Um, I'm going to do a really inexpensive, like I want you guys, I want everybody to do it. So it's going to be $10 or less to do the class and learn how to create your own abstract paintings. If you like mine, I'll show you some later. Um, it, you use nothing, like a brush, a canvas of some sort, whether it's canvas or wood or paper or whatever you want. Um, floating medium and brush. One brush. That's it. So, and, and paint, obviously. I say paint a few colors of a color paint. Really simple, simple technique. I have a lot of fun with it. So, um, I'm going to show you guys how I do that. And it's going to be a cheap class because I want everybody to try it, get to see like what my teaching style is. Um, just have some fun, you know, and you'll be, you'll, you'll have a painting when you're done. 
my next thing I'm like stupid excited about this package. I'm going to try and get it open because it is taped to death and I don't want to damage what's inside of it because it's made out of paper. It's a book. I mean, I'll just tell you that. Oh my gosh. I'm almost in. I'm almost in. Okay. So I've been checking out these channels that have been recommended by some other people. Um, who do I watch? I watch Shannon Green and she asked her viewers to put in her comments other people that they watch on YouTube because, you know, she wasn't feeling like making a video, so that's what she did. She decided to let us all talk to each other, which is cool. I love Shannon. And I got some good tips on some fun people on YouTube. And they're not all artsy crafty people. They are. Like Graveyard Girl. Have any of you looked at her? She's crazy. But I love her. Oh my gosh, I love her. She's, I don't know, she's the good kind of crazy. Yeah, she's the fun and entertaining, loud, obnoxious kind of amazing crazy that I think is so fun. But one of the people, I'm just all over the place. I'm so sorry. More coffee. One of the people that was recommended by the viewers was the Artistic Pagan. And I went to her channel and I was checking out some of her stuff and she's altering a book. Or has altered because I don't know how far back I went in the videos to find something that I thought was super fun. And I watched a few of the videos and I'm excited about it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. So I ordered the book on eBay so I could do it. She is altering a book. I hope this is okay to do. Like, is it wrong to alter copyrighted stuff? I don't think so, right? I mean, I can paint on whatever I want that I own. Oh my goodness, there's a poster in here. Okay, so, <laughs> so this is like the biggest kid thing ever. But, um, yeah, I ordered it. Check it out. It is the Hannah Montana book. This is the Hannah Montana Backstage Pass book. I am going to alter this book into an art journal. And the reason why I thought it was the coolest thing she'd ever done. For starters, it's a hardbound book, right? It's purple. That's why I picked the Hannah Montana. Because there's any of these. You, it doesn't have to be this one. Um... And I'm showing you guys this long before I get started on it. Well, I might get started on it soon. But I want you guys to have the chance. If you want to do it with me, like, there's a lot of these on eBay. Brand new with all the stuff still inside of them for just a couple dollars. I bought this for $2.50. $2.50. And uh, shipping was just, uh, was, it, was it free? It wasn't much because it only cost them $3.65 to send it. So I might have paid $4 for shipping. So $6.50, $7, somewhere in there I spent to buy it because I didn't want to go thrift store hopping. They have them in thrift stores. Excuse me. If you find them in thrift stores, you may not find all the stuff inside of them. How late is it getting? Okay, I have time. You may not get all the stuff inside. But that's okay. It could still be totally fun. But I wanted to tell you guys about it early enough that if you wanted to order one, you could order them and you could do this with me because like okay so here's a page this is so big and it's fun and it's nice thick pages like there's nice thick pages to work on so this is not gonna curl up whenever we paint on it can you hear me through the book I know that's weird but it has these things like here's this pocket and what's in the pocket there's something in the pocket I can't get it out what's in the pocket Oh, it's a little card to put your name and address so it says you own it. Okay, but what can we do? We could like alter this little card. It's ripping right there because I took it out mean. But like alter this. My phone's going off. Gosh darn it. I got to pick up my daughter soon. Okay, so let's go through here. There's a poster in here that I'll just probably pull out and throw away. Um, but I'm not sure. But okay, so like look here. This page. Oh, it's so big. It's so big. Okay, so this page has a pocket right here that this came out of. Okay, so there's a ribbon and there's a little guitar and it's, what is it? It's a backstage pass, right? So, and then it can sit right here in the front. So, oh, that's not really helpful, is it? <laughs> it can sit right here in the front of this little pocket. So cute, right? Well, we can alter that and still use these fun little things on these pages. How fun does that sound? Um, here's one. What does this have? This one has like a little folder that closes and it holds photos and we can take those photos out and put in like uh, art journaling cards. Like, not art journaling cards. Um, ATCs, like the, the artist trading cards. 
This one's going to be hard. Um, I watched the Artistic Pagan take hers apart, and I'm glad I got to watch someone take this apart, because there's a wheel. There's like a fashion wheel, and we could take, we're going to take, I can't spin it and hold the book at the same time, see it spins. Anyways, um, there it goes. Oh, look, it spins. Okay, so we can take that apart and change it and do fun stuff. Just a plain page. But there's just like, there's like stuff. Here's a little doorknob thing. And there's more than just the Hannah Montana book. But I'm super excited to get to um, play in this. This is huge. Like, I can't buy a good quality hardcover art journal for the few dollars that I paid for this so it seems like it's not unreasonable to have purchased it and I think it'll be fun to do look here's an invitation I mean a thank you card in here and I have to pull this off but how and then you can put like a secret note or something inside of it like I'm thrilled I think this is gonna be so much fun nice big pages nice thick thick pages so this is going to stand up to slapping some paint on it yeah I'm really excited about it it's going to be fun look at this thingy I know what's in here because I actually bought my daughter this whenever they were little inside this it pops open there's a little guitar pick so I don't want to pop it open because I'll probably do something bad but <laughs> we can put our own little things in there would that be fun so I'm like I like it you guys should go check out the artistic pagan because I totally like completely stole this idea but I love it and I got this one I mean these are regularly 20 bucks so I think my couple bucks was a good deal it's big it's a big square book so um, there's more than just Hannah Montana out there and I saw some on eBay you can get um, that's so Raven high school musical Ooh, high school musical one was fun it's I think it's red so if you like red that would be a good book um, because I'm going to leave some of this showing because it's purples and I like it. So even if I cover over this, like, I don't know, the inside cover, I don't know, like the edges are still, might be purple, but this way this gives me the chance because I like purple. So that's kind of why I went with this. But the um, High School Musical one I think is red and inside, so cool, there's like a locker page. So like you open it and there's like a school locker and then it opens and there's something inside and you could look inside. You could put a painting in there of part of your art journal or some tags or something super cute inside there and then close it up and then have a whole nother journal page over top like oh so you have like a mini journal page inside of your journal page I don't know but I'm so excited about it so um I'm going to record each page that I do and then eventually when I figure out how I'm going to alter the outside I will do that I probably won't alter the outside until later because they always get messed up on my tables because I get stuff on them so, my book is in the way. Um, if you guys want to do this with me, because it'll be fun, it may not be the same exact stuff if you buy a different one, like the High School Musical one, or That's a Raven, or whatever the Disney stars were at that time. These fan books, that's what I'm calling it. I don't know what technically it is called, but I think it's like a fan book, right? Or scrapbook, whatever. Um, they're really, they were really popular when my girls were little and Hannah Montana was huge. Which is the same time of That's So Raven and the High School Musical movie came out, which is, can you believe it, like 10 years ago? 10 years ago? Really? That's what my girls keep telling me, that like High School Musical came out 10 years ago. It makes me feel really old. So, um, if you guys want to do this with me, follow along, send me pictures of what you do, get one of these, like, in the next week. But that's what I'm going to be journaling in a little bit. And I have this nifty new table that, it's not new. I stole it from my daughter because I bought it for her a long time ago. And right now she's not using it. It's all folded up and tucked away in her closet. So I got her to drag it out because um, I was watching somebody else's YouTube video on small spaces. Had nothing to do with art because I watch all kinds of stuff. Um, She's like getting ready to get in bed and do some work and use her computer. And she got out her little tray and folded out the legs, like a bed tray. And I was thinking, well, for those of you who do creating on the couch on the bed, like how cool would that be, right? And I was thinking, I could use one of those on my couch because I use my lap desk. But because I have back and hip, I wiggle around a lot. 
and I try to edit that out, but I have to change positions often because my back hurts or my one leg will hurt, one leg will, I don't know, but I have to move around a lot. And so my lap desk is great, but I move. So I thought maybe one of those trays would work. And so then I thought, well, maybe a T, th that it wouldn't really work because like the front part of the legs would be off the couch. And, uh, so then I started thinking about a TV tray. Uh, well, a TV tray would work good. So if you guys have a TV tray, dude, that would be the best. Like, creating on the couch. Work table space, right? So then I decided to go on Amazon and look for TV trays and see if I could find anything that would be good. And one of the tables that they were showing on there is the table that I bought for my daughter. And I was like, oh, oh, hmm, okay. So I'm like, go find it, Casey, go look. So she goes and gets it out of her room, and I set it up. And it's a folding table, just like a white, like my white plastic folding table that I work on, but it's not six feet. It's one of those personal size ones. So it's like three feet ish. And it's got legs that X underneath. So because that would be in your way if you tried to pull it over, like you set a chair and push up against it and you would hit your knees, the X is all the way on one side. And then it's got like two long legs that stick out that kind of help balance it. And I thought, oh. So I brought that up and I pulled it. Now I have a recliner, so I have like metal parts underneath that get in the way of those legs sliding under the couch. If you have a normal couch, it would slide right up to you. Mine kind of does it wonky, but it'll work. I don't care. I'm so excited. I'm going to have a bigger table and um, for my creating on the couch. And I like it a lot. And I got it for like $30 at Costco, if you guys are going to ask. And maybe I'll get a picture up here from the stock or something. Stock photo. You don't want to see mine. No, you don't. Because we got it for my daughter for um, painting because she's pretty artistic too and she likes to paint. And she made a mess. So it, I can't hurt that table. That's the good thing can't hurt it. So I'm going to be altering my journal and I'll be recording it. And some of them may be on the couch. Some of them might be in my studio. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm kind of crazy like that. Don't know what I'm going to do. No. Um, so <laughs> sometimes I spend far too much time in my own head because, you know, it's crazy and pink and sparkly in there. So that's what's going on. I decided to show you what I did today. Um, went to Michael's, got a handful of things, picked up my mail. Super excited about my Hannah Montana fan book. I am. So <laughs> I hope you, some of you at least will decide to do this with me because I think it's going to be so much fun. And if you want to get an idea of what I'm talking about, please go check out the Artistic Pagans website. Um, her name like will not come to my head right now. I know it. I know it because she says it and I listen and I pay attention and it won't come to my head right now. Um, maybe I'll get it up here <laughs> in a second, you know, when I edit because like I can't find it. It's in there. It's in the file somewhere and, and I can't find it. It's, it, I can't find it. Um, kind of like my paperwork at tax time. Can't find that either. So, ooh, whistles, whistles. So, um, that's it. That's what I got. That's what I got going on. What's coming up. So if you're going to do this with me, like go hit eBay, check your um, thrift stores because the artistic pagan, gosh, her name just won't come into my head. Um, she says she's found some at thrift stores. Now at thrift stores, you might be missing the little things that tuck in, but who cares, right? Like you can add your own. Well, make, you can just make something. Like, do you really need it to be this little guitar thing on a string? You can make a guitar thing on a string. Or you can make something else on a string. Or not on a string. You can do whatever you want. So, um, like, the wheel thing, that's going to be there. The folder, that'll probably be there. The pictures may not be in it. But I'm not going to use these. Well, I don't know. I might alter them. But I might just make my own pictures and put them in there. Um, it might be a photo album page with pictures of my family who knows but so like the wheel's still going to be in there like you can't just take that out it, trust me i watched the artistic peg and try to take it apart you're not they're not going to just be taking it out but if there's like things missing you're still gonna have all the pockets and things so we can and envelopes and things we can make it work so like race out and find one because i would like somebody to do this with me or what i'll do also is i'll is i'll do some measurements on these pages and things in them in case you want to make your own um, book. 
like why not right and or you could just do the pages separately and then bind them all later I don't know but um, I know some of the uh, the artistic pagan she actually was putting together like a sample blank book that people put together and made themselves for the 250 plus shipping that I paid for this I don't want to I don't want to make a book so I don't think it's all that much fun and I don't think I could buy the materials for the price that I bought the book for so if you can find one on eBay or at a thrift store and join me in the grand adventure of altering a fan book oh please do because I, I like company out here on crazy island so um, let's do something fun right let's do this and I have to go now because I have to go pick up my daughter from school but I will see you all later thanks for watching bye